Hello everyone. My name is Strange, and I believe that people should know the truth. Today I will continue to reveal the terrible details of the secret documents of the US Special Forces on the Medium Project. For the security of my source, all names and surnames have been changed, and artistic coloring has been added to the document. But what you learn today will shock you, so if you are not ready for this, close the video and continue to live a quiet life. In the dark? And that's how I start. Sultry, Red Africa, Pretoria. I was seven or eight years old then, I don't remember exactly. I was walking home from school and suddenly, in a narrow alley between Madame Wilson's grocery and the corner of Peter Baumung's car workshop, I met the three of them. And I knew they might be there, and oh anyway. Go to Anal Balthazar Perak and Azaz Burma. Two black Africans from the newcomers who did not care deeply about apartheid and everything connected with it. And Balthazar is a descendant of Portuguese immigrants. Where are you scratching, brat? A thin, nimble, and toothless Goto jumped up to Alona and snatched a leather case bag from his hands. Give it back, Goto. The boy stretched out his arms, but was immediately grabbed by the tall Azads. Balthazar watched from the sidelines and grinned until Goto handed him the bag. Look, chief, maybe there's something valuable in there. Pyrrhic accepted the bag and opened the zippers, took out the telescope too. Both Negroes eagerly looked at the bag of the telescope and waited for further orders from their boss. What, baby, did you want to see the stars? Give it back. Alon squeaked, his eyes starting to fill with tears. Pyrrhic spread his hands dramatically, and the telescope fell to the asphalt, the lenses broke, and the tube rolled down the alley. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I accidentally dropped it. Come on, guys, beat him up so he knows how to enter our alley. Elon Musk shook his head. Did you really doze off? He leaned his hands on the marble countertop of his office. That's the way it is. I was in Pretoria as a child and returned to Hawthorne, California. There was no one here but him. There was an Oparic, no one home, no berm. I wonder what they'd become. They probably aren't alive anymore. Peric with his irrepressible character was stabbed somewhere by dashing people, of whom there were many in South Africa. Berman died in some flop house from cephalus or AIDS. And Anula was taken away in a police car in front of the whole schoolyard for raping a high school student. Probably became the wife of some big Afrikaner. That's where they go. Elon Musk smiled and rubbed his temples. To the point. 23 years have passed since that ill-fated meeting in the alley. Things couldn't have been better at SpaceX. New orders, new deals, and most importantly, the opportunity to develop and develop science. The only comprehensive and indestructible passion of Elon Musk. Elon pressed the selector button, and the voice of a pretty secretary answered him. I'm listening, Mr. Mask. He liked her voice. Elon smiled again. Margie, dear, look at the reports to see if the answers to our claims have come to the motors and sky space plants. And don't schedule an afternoon for anyone. I have a meeting with an authorized representative from NASA. Just admit, Mr. Musk. I will send the report to your email. The meeting with the plenipotentiary representative did not take place. Another one took place, a landmark one that turned everything upside down, completely changed life. Elon Musk left the glass and concrete building of the SpaceX headquarters, happily sucked in fresh air with his lungs, and headed for a parked car in which his personal chauffeur was waiting for him. He sat down in the back seat as usual, nodded to the driver, and leaned back in his seat. The driver knew the schedule perfectly well, and no adjustments or instructions were followed. Suddenly, the glass to the left of the driver shattered. The driver was thrown to the right, and then his body convulsed. Elon did not even have time to scream as two hefty hands pulled the driver's body out of the car, and a hefty man in a black tuxedo and black glasses sat in his place. There was a second man next to Elon. It might have seemed that they were twins with the one who smartly shook the driver out from under the steering wheel and took his place. What's the matter? What's happening? The car started moving and began to pick up speed. Oddly enough, it was allowed to pass the outer perimeter without any questions. And where do they put the driver? You don't have to worry about that, Mr. Musk. There's nothing wrong with your driver. The man sitting next to him was looking in front of him, although it was not clear from under the dark glasses where he was looking. He kept his hand ostentatiously on his chest holster. What's the matter? Is this a kidnapping? Alon grabbed the door handle and tried to pull it towards him but immediately felt the stranger's fingers grip his shoulder with an iron grip and pulled it himself. I'll ask you not to do anything stupid, you'll find out soon enough. The car sped through Eagle Gardens at high speed, 
and turned towards Garfield Manor Avenue. Then Alona was blindfolded and helped into the helicopter. The flight lasted about half an hour. At first, Elon counted, tried to memorize the turns, but soon lost his way and decided to just wait for his fate. At this very time, 220 kilometers from Horton, Special Operations Agent John Wontowicz was waiting for the scientist and genius Elon Musk in a small hunting lodge in the middle of the Palma and Yuma Indian Reservation. Inside the hut with him was a man in a black denim jacket, black jeans and a beret, with his hands in his pockets. Why should I request the summary again? Wachowicz was yelling at a man in a black denim jacket. Why does the external surveillance department constantly fail? The man in the denim jacket took off his sunglasses and put them on the table in front of Wachowicz. I'm not responsible for the reports of the Department of External Observations. The analytical department is currently sorting out the little things received from our northern partners. Wachowicz became interested. What's up with these former commies? In the area of Lake Baikal, a fall of an object of extraterrestrial origin was recorded, presumably collapsed directly into the lake. A group of our agents in Russia is being prepared. And the Russians? Now our people are working through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, perhaps they will give us everything they find there. They forgave us Kursk, handed over all the secrets without a fight, and they will hand over this one. Okay, keep your mouth shut, sit down. Wachowicz took a cigar from a box on the table, bit off the tip and lit it. Do you hear? The noise of helicopter rotors was heard over the hut with an increase. The man in the denim jacket put on his glasses, stood up and adjusted two waist holsters. You're escorting a smart guy here, you'll stay at the entrance yourself. That's right. Fifteen minutes later, Elon Musk was sitting at the table in front of Wachowicz. Let me introduce myself, Mr. Musk. Wachowicz stood up and held out his hand. I'm an FBI agent, Tomas Borecki. He specifically introduced himself with one of his fictitious names, which, however, was immediately confirmed by the extended ID. Is this how you kidnap people? Damn it, we live in America. I have rights. Wachowicz sat down on a chair and coldly looked into the eyes of Elon Musk. You have the right to be executed by me for high trees in this very second. But I can offer you another fate. A wave of fear swept down Elon Musk's back, and his chin, covered with uneven stubble, trembled. Musk stared at Wachowicz's hands and was afraid to make even a sound. He wanted to go to the toilet unbearably. Relax, Mr. Elon, feel free. Wachowicz grinned and took a drag on his cigar blowing smoke right into Mask's face. You are here because our state has a very great interest in you. Do you understand? Elon Musk nodded his head and coughed from the cigar smoke. Wachowicz took another drag and shouted. Answer as it should be. Musk started up. Yes, I understand everything. Of course, everything that will be shown to you is absolutely confidential. For disclosure, by the way, how is your family? Didn't you just have a son? Yes, and what does this have to do with? Elon Musk looked at Watowicz in confusion. Your wife Justine and son will be very upset if suddenly their husband and dad give us a reason to doubt their loyalty. Elon was silent. Watowicz looked complacently at the interlocutor in front of him, although he looked more like a defendant before the verdict. However, we will consider the official part completed. Now you will be shown some materials that you will have to study and give a brief oral conclusion. Do you understand? Yes, but what should I do? I don't understand. Wachowicz took a briefcase from under the table and took out a laptop, opened it, and turned it to Alona. Study the following document and photo materials. I'll leave you alone. Wachowicz was sitting in the helicopter cabin, opposite a man in a black denim jacket. What do you say, John? I think he's shitting himself. Wachowicz took a deep drag and blew smoke into the half-open hemisphere on the pilot's side. The man in the denim jacket chuckled. Wachowicz slammed the half-open hemisphere with force. Let's give him one hour. Then we'll have a conversation. By the way, Boris, take a closer look at him. The sky in the palm of your hand project will be supervised by you. Elon Musk was sitting in front of his laptop and at first couldn't believe his eyes. For a moment, it seemed to him that this was all hoax. His friends or spouse have dumped a lot of money and everything is fake. My gut told me otherwise. In front of him were the notes of a secret report backed up by photographs. During the construction of an underground fortification at a depth of 460 meters in the area of the Alaskan Ridge 63 Dig 0 408 
SS 151-0023ZD during the development of rock basalt rock. A colossal underground grotto was discovered by laser thermal method. The dimensions are being specified. All work has been suspended. The area is cordoned off. A special forces platoon has been sent to inspect and explore the grotto at the mouth. When entering the grotto, the special forces were attacked by an unidentified enemy. The dead are 11 people. The bodies emit a powerful trace of cobalt radiation in the gamma spectrum. From the preliminary conclusion, the grotto was the base of alien entities. The period of arrangement, staffing and mode of use has not been established. Currently, the bodies of extraterrestrial aliens, here and after referred to as aliens, are being investigated. Preliminary examination of the bodies of strangers did not yield results. There is not enough research capacity, comparative samples are being selected. From the research of the alien database, the following is clear. Elon Musk's eyes widened, his breathing was shallow. At that moment, he was just afraid to take a full breath. He was looking through photos of the bodies of alien entities found in the grotto. The aliens combined the characteristics of reptiles and humans, apparently upright, blue-green skin tone, dead cat pupils. In next photo, the body was located on a huge preparation table opened. Elon's chest and stomach spasmed. He reflexively covered his mouth with his palm and leaned sideways from the table. With an incredible effort of will, Elon restrained his vomiting and continued to study the materials. The grotto, the external protection system, and all the power are controlled by a high-frequency biocomputer. Elon was looking at a photograph showing a large flask, inside which something rested. For some reason, it immediately seemed that was a brain. Not human. It is unknown whose. The size of a car engine. Many sensors branched off from the brain, incomprehensible needles, hundreds of needles and many unknown devices. The brain was dead now. That was understandable. During the study of the biocomputer, telepathic contact was established with an unknown entity, here and after referred to as the curator. Surgeon instructor of the second class, Audrey Afkeper, came into contact. The contact occurred spontaneously after an attempt to connect a biocomputer to an external energy source. According to the conclusions from the primary telepathic contact, the grotto belongs to an ancient race of alien beings, here and after referred to as Nagas, the purpose of the base, its capabilities were not disclosed. In order to further cooperation, a contract was concluded, terms of the contract for special admission. 2016, Neuralink, San Francisco. Scott, have you prepared the lab test report? A young guy in a white coat with a Neuralink company badge took his eyes off the computer and looked at his boss, stood up. Yes, Mr. Whitman, there are still corrections for errors in the correlation of the digital neuron model. Today, I will receive data from the Experimental Digital Laboratory, and the report will be completed. Whitman nodded his head approvingly and went to his office, turned around at the entrance. There will be data today. I will hurry up the digital engineers, force the report. Mr. Elon Musk does not like to wait. At the same time, 50 kilometers from San Francisco, Elon Musk was walking and looking around in the laboratory of digital synthesis of neuromodels. Neuromodels were commonly referred to here as hundreds of glass flasks, filled with a neurostimulating solution. There were living people in the flasks, immersed in deep suspended animation. Due to the inability to copy or recreate the found biocomputer to obtain neuroanalytic powers, we requested the help of a curator. As a recommendation, the following information was obtained. The neurons of the brain of human organisms, here and after referred to as neuromodels, can be repeatedly enhanced with the help of a substance involved in a neurostimulating solution. To ensure one hour of operation of the biocomputer, it is necessary to use 41 neuromodels in constant operation mode. The external connection of neuromodels is carried out by a gold niobium alloy nanocable serial connection of the trepanated brain in the pituitary gland. After the expiration of the power of each neuromodel, one hour, the material is disposed of. Today we have revealed to you only a part of the information about the aliens. There is much more data about their activities on Earth. On our channel, we will reveal all the secrets and evidence of their presence. Subscribe to the channel and send me your stories related to aliens by email. You will find contacts in the About the Channel section. Together, we will force the authorities of all countries to disclose all the information they have. After all, people should know the truth.